Hello and welcome back to another update. So we'll just start off. Um, we're starting off in an unusual place with fireworks, like backstage area. But I thought I'd show you this. I've been digging out more, so we've nearly got half of it dug out now. And then I've just got the other half to do here. I'm gonna link up all the redstone like back to these wires here and then I'll build the sequencer in here and then we'll fill in all the dispensers so that's the first thing I'll, I did a bit of work on and then I've mainly been working on three rides this last two weeks so if we go over here to keep us free so we can just take a look inside so I have done the decoration <coughs> in this part here and this room here so once that's done I've just got in here to do, I kind of want to redesign this to be more of a camp underground and then this cave here and then this tunnel here and then that is done then so I can probably get that done in the next two days or so and then once I've done all the caves and stuff. Uh, I'll build the exterior, which will just come up to where the redstone is. So that's here. So it's quite a tall building. And then have it have the roof and stuff. I don't know. I might do it as two different heights. So have this bit taller and this bit shorter. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I'll do that, and then I'll do the exterior, and then that ride will be done. So I can probably get the POV for that done before the next update video. And then the next thing is I'll show you in two parts, but <sighs> reverse fusion is getting a bit of an update so I've we I removed the ride in the last like update video I think yeah I think so but now I have built the launches and I've set up how this station is gonna work so it's gonna be two Mobius coasters which duel with each other so Mobius just means it switches from one truck to the other so the orange will switch to the pink and the green will switch to the blue I didn't use the exact same colours as the original because uh, I kind of wanted these ones look a bit nicer especially the blue um, and they kind of just go together a bit well the orange and the pink and the green and the blue so yeah um, I've got the launch done, which will sync up every single time with the with the rest of the minecarts, and then that will go. Yeah, I can demonstrate it. Let me just let me just build this across. get a villager uh, right away. here they are okay so this one spawns my okay so they all launch down here and then they come around here and they all go up there and then you can see I've started marking out some terrain here but 
uh, the reason I haven't got a lot done on this ride is because I've been doing the redstone on it, which I will show you now. I've been doing this in a separate world, so um, I can just build it a lot larger. Here it is. <clears throat> Yeah, it's quite large. It's this and that dark green circuit there. <clears throat> so here's the launch. And then here's the, like, redstone that powers this. And then this just takes the signal output. But basically how it works is here's, like, the control board. So when you're queuing, before you go in, you can do, you can select how you're going to ride. So if you select single rider on this will just both these lamps will turn off because none of these will be selected so you'll be running by yourself and if i've done the redstone right yeah all these rails are now powered <coughs> so you won't be wasting for another minecart now if you turn it off um i'm currently on some single rider not sorry multiple rider four so if you have four people then it will sync up for that but if you put it into two people that lights turned on it's switched to this circuit here so basically um this the red and the yellow circuit will wait for each other and the green and the blue circuit will wait for each other so and the red green and blue and yellow won't wait for all of them at the same time unless you put it into four rider so you've got four people this is the one I'm working on at the minute. The redstone is not actually finished yet. So, the red and the yellow will wait for each other on the first, like, mode. And then on the second part, the, all of them will wait. And on the third one, the green and the blue will wait. The actual redstone for that is just the red, orange and yellow circuits. But... Um, blocking the signals in certain ones by lifting the pistons so it doesn't activate is where my problem is because it needs to move along so my solution at the minute to this it's okay so this this just moves it along by changing where the power sources are so that's that's how it's working at the minute and I think I can <sighs> integrate that on top of this and then this will be done so that's that's mainly why the ride's not had much progress done on it so far uh, what's the other thing oh yes the blue ride which I did stream a bit of building supports of about three hours oh yeah the first I built this small building here to kind of get a feel for how I want to redo the architecture, so this is just like one of them walk around cafes. So you go in, you pick food from the chest as you walk around, and then you just exit. This is one way as well. But I think I'll change this. And then there's this glass thing here. It's nice. So, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do the layout. I'll mark some stuff out. I kind of want the tracks, not just, I don't want the blue and green just to race against itself and the orange and pink so I will like go to like green and orange and pink and blue and stuff like that uh, but for the next thing, the biggest thing that I've been working on uh, is the blue coaster Wow, yeah, finish! Sort of So, I'll just run through the layout so you come out of the station, there's a little bit, little bit of a dip, and you come around, and then up the lift hill, which is huge, it takes like a minute to get to the top, and a nice steep drop, I had to put the glass there so it's like guaranteed each time. It, I've got used to it now, so it's not too bad. And then you got to turn around here, this support structure, and then you got a hill here. Usually this hill will be going over that that like the bottom of the drop there and then going into the crazy spiral section. This one's a bit longer. 
so it just comes down here because I kind of wanted it to come over the bridge so when you enter from whatever area there and you're going towards the center you can just see this and just go to the other side and you see it come over here it goes through this turnaround which has a nice support structure and then it comes down over here it's like this water section and then it comes up into the mid course <coughs> which the real rides do do before they go into the spiral section they have a mid course and this has got the crazy supports that the lift and not turn around as and then we go over this hill and then over the lift there just come up into this 360 degree spiral which I took off of Titan and I tried creating the supports it looks quite good and then it drops just turns does a bunch of turns like here and stuff and then we go through the support structure over the over that hill just come alongside the lift and onto the brake run and I've put a transfer track on this one so here it is I think this is long enough because these trains are usually like seven or eight long this is like eight blocks and then this would slide over and we could store a train so that that's what I've mainly been doing the main focus on this ride was actually on the supports more than the actual ride but I think the ride still came out pretty well and then I decide, designed the station which I think I'm quite happy with I might I still might need to change it because I have like a theme in mind so it's gonna be like a water processing plant uh, so I might do a more industrial building but we'll see I'm pretty happy with the station at the minute well, I got the cube done here and the exit here I'm not really sure what to call the ride I think I'll have to theme it before I do that but that's basically all I've done, so what I'll be working on is the redstone for reverse fusion, decorating Jeepers Creepers, the fireworks show, and then here I'm going to bring the path down under the support, underneath the drop here, along here, connect it up over there, you know, put some stuff behind here, maybe like a couple flat rods, which I said I'd do in the last one, but I didn't, um, and stuff like that. So yeah, but this area is super cool because you've just got supports everywhere. So yeah, uh, that's it for this video. Adios.